What are the best fighting styles available in Blocks Fruits for grinding levels? Well, as many of you might know, I've just gotten God Human, which means I've gone and gotten every fighting style to level 400 in Mastery. So, I have a pretty good idea. Alrighty, so we're getting into the actual tier list. Now, I'm going to start this one off with just regular old combat, because we all know regular old combat is pretty garbage. I think it's pretty easy to put it in D tier. No worries, right? Enough, enough said. It's terrible. You get it at the start of the game for free for a reason. <laughs> All right, so what's the next worst one? Well, I'm going to say Dark Step. I think Dark Step is horrendous. I think for grinding levels, it doesn't do very good M1 damage. The final ability is its only save and grace. It's pretty cool. It's pretty good. The other abilities are literally so garbage, it's not even funny. You do more damage by just clicking the actual M1 button on your mouse than using the other abilities. They are horrendous. Okay, so next, what does that leave for the next one? I'm gonna say it's probably Electric putting it in the C tier. I think Electric's like kind of decent, like it's not terrible, it doesn't really have much going for it, but it's the M1 damage is a little bit better and it's just kind of more consistent in my opinion. I like the abilities a little bit more. I think it's okay. Okay, so the next one is Water Kung Fu. I'm gonna put it in the C tier above the electric one, just because purely I think the M1 saved this ability a little bit. Uh, the M1s are really good. The M1s are really solid. There's not really much else to say. That's about it. <laughs> the, yeah, that's really all I can say. The M1s are fantastic, and enough said. Let's move on. All right, getting into the tier two ones now. I think the worst tier two is definitely Death Step. I think this sucks. I think it's horrendous. I think it's so bad that it's probably worse than Water Kung Fu. I know, I know. Why do I say this though? Well, I think it's worse because the M1s. The M1s do so little damage. You granted, they do come out quite quickly. They do like no damage though. And the actual worst part about this is all the abilities again just suck. They are so bad. They are just really tr trash. They don't do anything. You're better off just clicking your mouse again than using any of the abilities. And the one ability that was good on Dark Step, you don't unlock until Mastery 400 when you're going to stop using the form anyway because you want to swap to another one. Like, it's just stupid. Alright, the next one I have is Dragon Breath. Now, again, I'm going to put this below Water Kung Fu. I don't care what anyone says. The M1s on this are so annoying. They're so annoying, the abilities don't, like, give you anything. It, at this point, it's just the M1 game. Who has the best M1s? And that's gonna be Water Kung Fu at the moment. Dragon Breath abilities just kind of rubbish, they don't do anything. Um, yeah, you're better off again just clicking the mouse. Uh, the M1 pushes you forward too on the last strike, and it's super annoying, I hate it. Uh, so I'm gonna put it below Water Kung Fu at the moment. Alright, the next one is Superhuman. Now, I do believe this one deserves a B tier. I actually do like the abilities on this one. Uh, they're good for getting around, they're half decent, the M1s are pretty good, they do a lot of damage too, so I'm going to put this one in the B tier, I think it deserves that spot. Uh, it is relatively difficult to get, but once you do get it, it is worth it, because, you know, it's actually a lot better than the other ones, so, yeah, definitely recommend getting that one. Alright, the next one we got is Electric Claw. Now, Electric Claw is pretty solid, I think this one's kind of like the in-between of being, like, pretty good, but not so good that it's an S tier, you know what I mean? Uh, for leveling up wise, uh, the M1s are okay, they have an up and the downside, the downside being that they push you forward, the upside being that they're pretty relatively strong. Uh, the abilities are good for getting around, the C ability is amazing for just dive bombing like a group of enemies, super super good, highly recommend Electric Claw, it's very solid, you're gonna love when you get to it, it's very fun to use, especially in PvP, but that's not what we're talking about, PvE, very very good. Alright, the next one we got is Sharkman Karate. Now, personally, this one deserves S tier on purely the fact that the M1s are god tier. They are insane. The M1s are literally so broken that, that you just don't stop punching. You, it literally has no cooldown on punch. It's so OP. The abilities are a little bit mid, I must admit. The, the Z ability is pretty good for getting around. It's a good dash. The other abilities kind of suck, though. The C ability knocks away enemies too far, and it's, like, the AoE is good, but the fact that it knocks them away so far, it's not really viable for grouping enemies and then farming, it's just kind of annoying. So I personally think, just purely based on M1s, this deserves an S tier spot, but based on the abilities, kind of drags it down a little bit to the other ones. The next one I have is Dragon Talon. Now, Dragon Talon is insane. I personally think this is an insane fighting form. I think it's easily one of the best. Everything it does... Everything Dragon Breath did wrong, Dragon Talon does right. 
The abilities are good. The M1s are strong. They do a lot of damage. It's annoying that it pushes you forward, yes. But, oh my god, it does so much damage. And, and not to mention that the abilities are so god tier, it's not even funny. The second and third ability are so good. The second ability summons this, like, large pit of fire that just burns all the enemies that are in it, which is really good for grouping enemies and just roasting them alive. And the third ability is a massive, like, AoE, just nuclear bomb. It's awesome. And the first ability is really good, too. It's just a dash. You know, I wouldn't recommend using it to, like, kill anything. Maybe a boss. If you're using it against a boss, it's fine. But, like, it's good for just getting around or escaping really quickly. It's very good. It's very solid, in my opinion. All right, the next one we have is God Human. Now, this one, I'm going to put here. I'm not going to put it above Dragon Talon because I don't believe it's better. And the reason I don't believe it's better is because the M1s are better. On God Human, I must admit, the M1s are a bit better. But the abilities on God Human aren't as good for killing, like, massive groups of enemies. You know what I mean? They're good, like, single target abilities. So if you're farming bosses, then I would swap them around like this, right? But in terms of, like, regular old farming, just farming, like, normal NPCs and grouping them all together. Maybe you're farming mastery, maybe you're farming levels, whatever you're doing, right? God Human is literally next level, man. It's... Like, it's great. It's great. But Dragon Talon's just better. I'm sorry. It's just better. The abilities on Dragon Talon just excel it to way past God Human, in my opinion. But I must admit, God Human does have some insane abilities outside of just level grinding. Its PvP potential is just unmatched, in my opinion. Next to Electric Claw in level of PvP. If you guys want to see a PvP tier list, let me know. I can do that too. But this is what my opinion is on the grinding fighting styles i personally think dragon talon is the top tier get your hands on dragon talon as soon as you get to the third c trust me you won't be disappointed that stuff is good stuff Alrighty, guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one